I'm Haji Wright, and I'm a forward for the U.S. men's national team. Yeah, this is a crazy picture. Um, <laughs> this was after we qualified for the U-17 World Cup. We were in, I think it was Honduras. Loads of players starting dyeing their hair, and I was one of them. And looking back at it now, it looks terrible. It's probably like the worst hair I could have ever had. But um, I remember this moment, having won on penalties against Jamaica. At that moment, it was the peak of my career. I really wanted to make the residency program. It was like a goal of mine at that time. And it was just really exciting for me being called into residency. It was the first real taste of freedom, in a way, moving across the country with uh, my friends. I had uh, both of the politics at that time, so Christian and his cousin Will in my room. Me and Will shared a room, and uh, we're always together. Me, him, Christian, from eating to going to school to playing video games, watching Gossip Girl, we did it all together. And I think it was a very formative experience for me in my life and my soccer career. I remember being in contact with the clubs from Germany, and I realized which club I was going to sign for. And me and like 10 other guys were in the room and we were just playing music and like having a good time like we always do. And I just started crying because I realized I wasn't going to be able to see everybody every day and kind of like indifferent about going to Europe because I knew I'd be leaving all my friends, my culture, the language that I speak behind, and now I have to face a new challenge. And at that point, I was really scared. My first training camp in Spain with the first team at Schalke. It was just ridiculous. I think I was playing with players who were seasoned pros in the Bundesliga, and I'd be on the opposite team trying to defend them, trying to attack against them. I just was having no luck. And I realized, like, yeah, these guys, they're on a different level than me right now. I think I was unsure about myself for a lot of reasons, and um, it kind of showed on the field. That attributed to the reason why I would bounce around so often, a year here, a year there, before I finally uh, found my feet and was able to perform on the pitch. It installed toughness and a grit inside of me that allowed me to go along the path that I went into, from Germany to the Netherlands and then through to Denmark and then now to Turkey. I think I've worked extremely hard in the last two years, two and a half years, to try and make this dream a possibility. Originally, I thought he was calling to like let me down easily, and uh, I had already mentally prepared for the discussion and how it was going to go. When I actually got on the phone with him, I didn't realize he was FaceTiming me at first. So I was like, oh, I put the phone up with my ear like a normal call. And he was like, I can't see you. I realized it was a FaceTime. And then I saw him and I was like, you look kind of happy. I was like, it's kind of weird if you're happy to let me down. But eventually he told me the news and I was just like completely shell-shocked. At first I sat for like, I don't know how long it was. It felt like an eternity, just in silence, just like grinning from ear to ear, like thinking about my whole journey up until now. I remember us all being at the U-17 World Cup together in Chile. And even that for us at that time was a very big moment. Now, fast forwarding five years later, to being at the real thing, it's just like, it's crazy how it all came back together. It's just, it's kind of indescribable, my feeling when I put on the jersey and um, it's just really like amazing to be where I'm at today and to see how far I've come.